Hi, this is Sven at Manticore Arms, and today we're going to talk about the Tavor Arclight rail system that we make, and how to put it together, and how to install it. So what we have here right now is our Tavor, ra uh, Tavor rifle. Um, we've already removed the two screws, as you can see here, that hold the front handguard on. Uh, all you need to do that is a standard Phillips screwdriver of the appropriate size, and there's a screw on the left and the right. To remove those, um, there is some Loctite holding them in, so it'll take a little bit of force to break that Loctite. And then you'll remove the screws, and what you want to do is clean them off of all the, uh, bad, the old Loctite. So once you do that, um, then you'll have your Arclight rail system here. This is the rail chassis, or the forend as we call it. Um, if you have the naked um, Arclight system, this is the part you'll get. And you can see there's slots on the side, the underside both sides actually. This is where the screws will go. And you also notice these two uh, chamfered holes. These are where the light ring will go if you have one. You also notice there's a tab on the back here. So the other accessories that you might have with it if you have the fully loaded system are the light ring. You will see that this is actually two pieces. They're the same piece, just two of them. And we have a screw holding it together on each side. This will clamp around your flashlight. Here we have one assembled. And you can see how it clamps it there. And then the two pan head screws in the bottom here, uh, it's a little difficult to see because we've got a rail installed on the bottom, but they will go up through those two holes to bolt it down. So as you've got your rail here, what will happen is those two pan head screws will hold it in like that when it's clamped around your rail. The other accessories we have here are 11 slot rail and our 5 slot rail. Uh, most people will be familiar with how these work. Basically, the rail has screws right here that go through it, and what you do is you place them through. You'll take your rail. Um, you can either mount it you know, on any of these slots. Uh, one thing to point out is on the Tavor, these slots are mostly decorative unless you want to trim back the plastic that's inside to give you clearance. It is okay to do that. But the rail will go on. Uh, you can see the lugs. Lugs fit in to the slots, like so. You can see the screw here coming through the back. And what you'll do is you'll put two screws through, like so. And then your backer bar will thread on. And uh, we include all the necessary hardware to install that, or the, the tools. So we have our wrench here that comes in the rail kit. It'll be bagged with those rails. And what you do is just Screw it on here, and screw it on here, and you're just going to want to do that until they're fairly snug. Give it a good turn, like so. And now you can see the rail's on there, it's not coming off, backer bar's on the back, and it's completely installed. Um, with the two hole rail or the five slot rail. The backer bar, it's pretty obvious where it goes on it. There's two holes, two holes that lines up wherever you mount it. Now on the four um, hole rail, also known as the 11 slot rail, you can put the backer bar in other locations. Um, in this one we've centered it. Most of the time we'd recommend you center it, but um, in some instances, say with the light ring installed, with the flashlight there, it gets a little hard to get the backer bar all the way underneath. So if you're doing something like installing this grip on the rail, what you'll want to do is actually place the backer bar one slot back. Now if you have the gumption to get it all the way forward like that, that's great, but it'll be fine and have plenty of strength back there. You won't have any issues with it because the lugs are holding it in place. So. As we said, we've got our light ring here. I'll just give a quick demonstration of how this works. Take the screws out. And there are two different sizes of wrench here that come with the light ring. The larger one actually takes care of these 832 screws. Right here, you can see they back out. And go back in. And as you can see, one comes in through the top, one through the bottom. Basically on each ring, there'll be a threaded hole and there'll be a larger unthreaded hole. And what you'll do is put the screw through the larger unthreaded hole into the threaded hole, and then the reverse. Um, because these parts are the same, there's holes for the pan head screws on either side. Doesn't matter which side you use, uh, as long as it orients your flashlight correctly for your use. So what we'll do is the light ring lines up, and you'll get your 
pan head screws through there. Like so. And once you got the first one mostly started and lined up, you can get the second one in there. And then what you want to do is once they're both in, you want to snug them down good. Let's see if we get that started. There we go. And when they're all the way in, it'll be snug. The road, uh, the uh, light ring will be held vertical and uh, you'll know these are in all the way when they're flush on the surface and the reason you want it flush on the surface in addition to being snug is uh, if you're mounting a rail here it'll clear that obviously with the five lug you can even reverse it and it's not an issue uh, the other question people ask is when they look at it and yes uh, if you did want to mount a bar in here it's not a problem it does clear in there fine when you've got the rail on there so we've got our rail together we'll say we're just going to leave a, an 11 slot on the one side light ring on the front you know you can have your flashlight in there whatever and what we'll do is take our rifle uh, this rifle has already been safed and cleared to make sure it's okay to use and uh, you're not going to shoot anybody when you're installing the rail system always a bad thing to do so we have the screws out with the handguard you just want to tilt it down and the reason you want to do that is this tab locks in here. If you try to pull it straight out, it's actually hooked in here and you're gonna be pulling against that and struggling to get it removed. So, you can see there, the hook. So we're just gonna take our hand guard, put it out of the way, take our arc light rail, which we've got here. Now, we don't have a hook on our tab, it just goes straight in. That's to help uh, with bearing here. Most of the bearing is actually up here, but this is an insurance to make sure if you're pulling, it doesn't come loose or anything like that. So what we'll do is get the rail on there, Let's make sure everything's lined up, and there you go. It's now installed, and what you'll do is you'll thread your screws in until they're snug all the way down on either side. Uh, the one thing I did want to point out here is you can see you can see the plastic through there. So what it is is this bearing area here and here. Now you can see they've actually trimmed it back on the rifle to allow for their light switch to go through there with the button on the original handguard. Uh, if you want to trim it back a little bit so you can use those upper two slots, that's fine. We wouldn't typically recommend trimming too much of this away because you're going to get into an issue with um, if you ever install the original handguard again, it may get a little loose. But if you do have the choice to make it you know, permanent with the arc light rail, you could trim it back a little bit and it's fine. So that's the operation and installation of the Arclight rail system from Manticore Arms, and thank you for watching.